U.S. Marines test weapons of the future as dramatic images capture the latest in lethal technology. The tests were part of the annual Marine Exploration and Experimentation Week which enables manufacturers to get feedback on their new technologies. U.S. Marines have spent a week testing the weapons of the future, including drones the size of birds and self-driving vehicles. The Marines carried out the new technology trials at California's Camp Pendleton as part of the annual Marine Exploration and Experimentation Week. The event gives manufacturers a chance to test their products and get first-hand feedback from those that would be using them. Sergeant Matthew Levine, who has taken part in the tests, said, This whole week was basically introducing us to new technologies and getting feedback from us so that the product developers and the manufacturers can get direct input from the guys who will actually be using it either soon or in a couple of years. Around 180 members took part in the testing during the experiment which ran from March 15 to 25. Some of the products the Marines were testing included anti-drone weapons, sensors that can see through walls and new radio equipment. They also tested micro-drones and the autonomous vehicles at the West Coast Naval Base. The Marines even took part in exercises including two battle simulations where they practiced what would happen if the U.S. Embassy came under attack. Another exercise involved clearing and securing an urban village. Corps also tested a drone capturing system, Skywall 100. The 25 pounds device can be worn on the shoulders or mounted onto a vehicle and fires a net up to 120 meters at a flying drone. Lightweight helmets with removable visors and chin protectors and even a new piece of technology called Kill Switch. The product enables a smartphone to be turned into a command and control hub that can pull networked data, imagery and other information for clearer situational awareness. Speaking to UNI News Captain Ben Brewster, commander of Kilo Company, 3rd Battalion, 4th Marines, said he was after a protected bubble that would shield the Marines while having their own drones in front of them. He said the experimentation week shows some successes and some failures. Corporal Saber Adams added, it's important for the Marines to get their hands on this technology so that they can become more lethal and their survivability will increase a great amount.